Using Linux has many advantages over Windows. One of them is the choice on how stable you want your desktop experience to be. However, stable doesn't really mean less crashy in the sense, but rather how often your operating system changes underneath. It's basically like Arch, a distribution which is known to be more unstable is like upgrading to a new Windows version every half a year, while Debian on the opposite only gets a new upgrade every two years and support for even longer. However, what about the Debian testing and unstable branches? Why did Valve move from using Debian as their base for SteamOS to Arch? And ultimately, if you want to run one of those distros, which is better suited for you? All of this and more in today's video. This video was made possible by channel members of our community. If you want to participate in selecting new video topics, see what's going on behind the scenes and gain access to various tips and tricks, then please make sure to check out the join button or the link in the video description down below. Let's start off with some key notes on Debian. Debian is a community maintained distribution that serves as the base to many other popular ones like Ubuntu, Kali Linux, Raspberry Pi OS and the Proxmox virtual environment, as well as indirectly also the distributions based off of those as well. Debian has a reputation in the Linux community as being incredibly stable, meaning that it doesn't really change much over the lifespan of its latest release, whereas a new one only comes out every two years. It offers great flexibility, customization and has its packages thoroughly tested before the next big release, making it without a doubt a great choice for servers, but also desktop machines if you prefer resiliency and continuance over new features. Arch on the other hand is completely different. While it is also community maintained, like Debian, its packages and update cycle in general progress much faster. Instead of having fixed releases, like Debian, Fedora, Ubuntu and similar, Arch is a rolling model, which means that it just keeps updating as soon as new packages are ready. Therefore, in comparison to Debian, you get new desktop environments, applications and improved hardware support much quicker. However, sometimes also more bugs that have gone unnoticed. And sometimes some dependencies get messed up if you haven't updated your system in a long time. It's basically that just too much changes at once and some applications and also core utilities don't really like that. So on the one side we have Debian. If it is compatible with your end device, you basically install it and for at least 5 years and even up to 10 years if you opt for the extended security period, it will receive security updates and just keep on working since nothing fundamental ever changes. However, you are also stuck on older desktop environments and if you don't rely on flat packs or applications that are being backported, also on older software. On the other side we have Arch. This one is usually quite up to date with everything. However, also more likely to break if you don't handle it correctly. If you keep doing regular updates and if you don't mess too much with the system, it also won't really cause any problems though. But what about the testing branches of Debian? What about Debian Unstable? If you are going to use one of those two, then I do recommend using Debian Unstable rather than testing. Why? Well, while the testing branch serves as a nice intermediate version for a decently updated experience, it's the last one to receive crucial security updates, as stable and unstable have a higher priority. It depends of course on what those exploits really are and how close to a new release they happen. Like if a new stable Debian version was just released, then security updates on the testing branch have an even lower priority, as they don't need to get fixed before an upcoming release. Unstable is rolling anyway, so it gets patched once it's ready. Ok, so the question now is, if Debian stable is not really for you, since you like having access to newer desktop environments, packages and better hardware support, but still want to use a community maintained Linux distro, should you go for Debian unstable or Arch? Or let's ask a different question. Why did SteamOS switch from Debian to Arch if they could have just used the unstable branch? Well, there are still some differences between Debian Unstable and Arch when it comes to how each distro approaches updates. Debian, even on the Unstable branches, is still targeted towards stability and primarily meant for developers and early adopters. Arch on the other hand is a permanent rolling release for end users and enthusiasts. So Debian Unstable is something that is being used by Debian developers and also what is being used for Ubuntu when they split off in preparation for a new Ubuntu release, while Arch is a more or less finished product that just keeps getting updated. You know it's difficult to consider something finished if it's just part of the distro's lifecycle. 
But anyway, Valve probably opted for Arch because it's not targeted towards a next release at all, but rather completely independent and also serves more native packages like a close to vanilla kernel. And this close to upstream philosophy with only minimal patching that is not targeted towards a big stable release in the end is a big advantage when building a gaming operating system like SteamOS that benefits from fast updates and improvements. And you don't necessarily need to keep up. SteamOS does not update as fast as Arch and has their own development cycle. However, they do have access to the fast changes if they want to. They are utilizing the Arch base to build a stable distribution, but they don't have to consider custom changes that would have been targeted towards a next Debian release. But what exactly does that mean for you? Well, honestly, not really much, unless you are a developer yourself. For me, if you are choosing between community maintained unstable distributions, you should just go what feels more right to you. For a graphical desktop user, that could be hardware support. Debian officially supports ARM, which is useful for devices like a Raspberry Pi and some older architectures. If you just have a regular PC, however, Arch might yield better results, especially if the device is quite new. For terminal users, it's also convenience, scripting and just which tools you like more on each operating system. And if you are going for the stable release of Debian, then it's a whole different story altogether anyway. In conclusion, Debian and Arch are on the far end of each other. One is slow in feature updates, but very resilient over a long time, while the other one provides much newer software, desktop environments and compatibility improvements for recent hardware. If you choose unstable versus unstable, Debian is a distro that in the end is still working towards a Debian release and some features have custom adjustments. However, as a normal user, you don't really have to consider them. So if you want a stable experience or even an unstable experience with at least some assurance that it doesn't break, then you want to go with Debian. On the other hand, if you want a close to vanilla Linux experience and are maybe developing your own distro like SteamOS, Arch might be the way to go. But in the end, for you, it doesn't really matter. Pick one, try it out and see if it works for you. The beauty about Linux is choice. And once you get deeper into the operating system itself, then you will notice all of the differences. However, that's a topic for another time. Just be curious, try both of them out and that's where I'll leave it. So what do you think of Debian and Arch and especially their unstable comparison? Are there any important details that I might have missed? And which one would you use personally? Please let us know in the comment section down below. Before I end this video, I quickly wanted to mention that if you want to support the channel make even better videos, then please feel free to check out our membership program as well as our online shop, whereas each sale helps to support various open source projects. If you've liked this video, then please make sure to show it with a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future Linux videos just like this one. I really hope you had a blast watching and all that's left to say now is good morning Good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are, I'll see you around.